here's a question for you. Why would you transplant a fig tree that's growing perfectly happily in potting mix into a hydroponic setup? Well, the answer is, this is a high performance growing system and it will enable you to get the absolute max out of your tree. This fig tree is an heirloom variety called St. Dominique Violet and it's a glorious large black fruit with melting pink flesh. So I've washed the roots to try and remove all of the organic matter. And the reason for this is you don't want anything fine that might clag up the drainage because that can be fatal. This pot doesn't have any drainage holes, so I'm going to drill just one hole on the side wall down near the base. Then I insert a grommet. Now this is basically a rubber sleeve followed by a poly elbow. Next, the potting process. A layer of expanded clay goes into the base to the depth of the upturned elbow. This medium is like terracotta rice bubbles, full of tiny holes, which holds onto moisture brilliantly, but it's also great for the bacteria to grow on. This layer ensures excellent drainage with the large air spaces between the clay balls. Perlite is cheaper and does almost exactly the same job and this fills in the central part of the pot, covering the roots of the fig tree. Being very light, perlite can blow around from the top of the pot, so the final layer is expanded clay again to hold it all down. Nutrients are applied in a liquid form. This concentrate is highly refined so that you don't get any residues once it dissolves. So I'd recommend starting out with a quarter strength, which is what I've got in here, and give the plant a good solid drink. Remembering, now we've just emptied this out, that as soon as you start to see any liquid forming in there, it means the reservoir is starting to fill up, and that's what you want. How to water your hydroponic tree. During the warm months when growth is really happening, use this elbow as your guide. So when that's full of water, don't give it any more. When it dries out, just top it up to the point where it just comes up to the lip. That's perfect. Now, during the winter, when you've got rain, the trick is to turn this right down to the flat area. So basically it drains out and it won't be waterlogged. One big advantage here is that this is a closed loop with no waste of water or nutrient. And you can link your fruit trees together in a recirculating system for your own hydroponic orchard just like this one.